Hello once again, individuals, and welcome to another episode of the Kerbal Space Program. I am the Bagel Rabbit. My microphone's name is Sam, and I created a lot of craft recently and never actually got around to showing you them. So it's time to start doing that. Today I will be showing you this beautiful automobile. It is a car. It flies. It's called the Skymobile Mark V or something like that and I really personally enjoy it. Before taking the Skymobile up in the air, I'd better show you some of its features. Now, it has some pretty good aesthetics. You can turn it reasonably well, and it does have working brake lights on the back and all sorts of wonderful amenities like that, but I'm sure that you guys want to see it fly, and I'm not entirely sure if you believe that it can. It is time for me then to show you. Here we go! Three, two, one, engines on, and I'm going to also press the one key and activate some serious SAS power. Now that this thing is up to about 55 meters a second, it takes off just fine. And I can then proceed to begin to fly it around the Kerbal Space Center and maybe buzz by some buildings. Can I get really close to the vehicle assembly building? Can I not hit the vehicle assembly building? Oh, that was not bad. I could have maybe gotten a little bit closer. How about that control tower right there? Ooh, this thing does not look like it is flying happily. Yes, this thing does have some slight troubles when it comes to tight maneuvering, but it is nonetheless relatively easy to fly, and it's easy to recover from any little mistakes you make as long as they're not too bad. Trying to just skirt the top of this. Oh, that was beautiful. That was really high quality. Okay. Well, I guess that is the maneuver of the day. And so it is time now to get everything centered back and to bring it down for landing. Now, this thing has a stall speed of much lower than 60 meters per second, which is good because if it was higher, the tires would pop. You just need to be relatively careful in getting this thing back down to the ground to avoid said tire popping. But if you do it right, you can have a wonderful, safe landing and be the envy of all of your Kerbal Space Program playing friends. I'm going to try to show you some more stuff in the very near future, so stay tuned! Have a wonderful day. Like, favorite, subscribe, and share, please, and I will see you next time with another episode of the Kerbal Space Program. Peace.